another video, another case. So let's see what this case is all about. But before that, have you downloaded this app Physio Workout? You will get lots of such cases, unlimited MCQs and AI based uh, content. So download this app. Okay, now uh, let's see the case. A patient has come to the hospital OPD with high grade fever, cough with sputum and mild breathlessness. So already there is a hint of respiratory involvement. His vitals are unremarkable. Unremarkable is a term very often used in the uh, investigation reports. Nothing to remark about. Nothing extraordinary or very abnormal. Now coming to the systemic examination. Tactile vocal fremitus and vocal resonance is higher on the right side as compared to the left side. You know respiratory system uh, is a comparative examination. So any test will be uh, comparative. One side higher, one side lower in disease conditions. Otherwise it will be equal on both sides. Right. So it's higher on the right side compared to the left and mild crepes on the right side. So the question is which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Have you got the answer? Okay. Anyways, let's check it out. The options first. Uh, plural effusion on the left side or left-sided heart failure or lobar pneumonia on the right side or is it chronic bronchitis with acute exacerbation? You want to answer now? Okay. The answer is lobar pneumonia on the right side. Uh, let's figure out why. Let's rule out the options one by one. Starting with uh, left-sided heart failure. Why this has been given in the options? Probably because left-sided heart failure very often uh, can lead to pulmonary edema where uh, crepes are heard. The pathophysiology is something like this. If the left side is failing, uh, then the blood is pulled backward and backward. That is in the pulmonary circuit. And then the pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure will increase. It will result in leakage of the fluid, extra passation of the fluid and resulting in the pulmonary edema. So remember, left-sided failure often presents uh, as a, or a consequence of that is the pulmonary edema. But in the case of pulmonary edema, there would be bilateral crepes and generally speaking, basal crepes. In the basal region, uh, one would find the crepes, uh, which is not the case here. They have mentioned only crepes on the right side. Apart from that, uh, uh, vitals are unremarkable. If it was left-sided heart failure, then uh, there would be some uh, indication in pulse rate or blood pressure, which is not the case. So we can safely rule this out. Then the other option was chronic bronchitis with acute exacerbation. Well, it's a COPD. And in COPD, you don't get rails or crepes. There is other adventitious sound which is called as ronchi. So let's quickly summarize the foreign sounds or adventitious sounds on the respiratory system or on the lungs. There are two types of such abnormal sounds. One which is called as rails or crepes or crepitation, same synonym or some people call it crackles. Uh, and the other one is ronchi. Ronchi are heard commonly in the COPDs. Why? Because the airways are narrowed in COPD. So, when the air passes through the narrowed airways, there is that whistling type of sound and that is called as ronchi, uh, also referred to as the V's. V's or ronchi are heard in COPDs, which is not mentioned here. Therefore, we can rule out. See, chronic bronchitis was mentioned with acute exacerbation because there was mild breathlessness and uh, a fever, cough with sputum. So, uh, it could have been this. But uh, we can rule it out. No ronchi mentioned here. That leaves us with two options. Whether it is pleural effusion on the left lung, left side or lobar pneumonia on the right side. Let's explore these possibilities further. Right-sided crepes are heard uh, or crepes are heard on the right side. That is what is mentioned here. What are these crepes or rails or crepitations or crackles? Imagine a bucket full of water and you dip a mug into it or some bottle and you get bubbling sounds. Uh, somewhat similar are the bubbling sounds or crackling sounds 
heard which are called as rails or crepts or crepitations when let's say lung parenchyma is filled with fluid or it has got consolidated then as the air passes through that fluid or that consolidation we get to hear uh, such sounds called as rails or crepts there are right sided crepts that means uh, it is a possibility that uh, the disease is on the right side only the other uh, mention was of vocal resonance or tactile vocal parameters let's have a little more details about this particular test tactile vocal parameters or vocal resonance uh, you ask the patient to say 111 or 999 first thing is the examiner will ask you why only 111 or 999 because these words have a nasal twang one nine a nasal twang and that means as the sound passes and those vibrations pass and you feel them over the chest wall or hear them to the stethoscope they are better felt or better heard because of that nasal twang the vibrations are better one nine so we ask the patient to say one 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 or nine 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 that's the point number one now as we said that it's a comparative test normally uh, i mean when there is absolutely normal both lungs are absolutely normal in that case it will be equally felt on both sides right both lungs absolutely normal so tactile vocal parameters or vocal resonance will be equal on both lungs but when it is abnormal then uh, when you compare one side will be higher the other side will be lower this is where you start differentiating it further when you perform a clinical examination of uh, i mean tactile vocal parameters or vocal resonance uh, you get one side higher one side lower that means uh, there is some abnormality so tactile vocal parameters or vocal resonance is increased in the pneumonia because pneumonia as uh, infection occurs in the lungs there is hepatization of the lung parenchyma hepatization means uh, the lung parenchyma becomes firm like liver and later on consolidation and remember consolidation uh, or solidification of the lung parenchyma lung parenchyma will become solid uh, and solids are good conducting medium for the sound and for those vibrations and therefore the tactile vocal parameters will be felt better over the patch of pneumonia and that is what has probably happened here uh, there was higher uh, tactile vocal parameters on the right side right apical region compared to the left so it is probably lobar pneumonia on the right side let's just complete this further uh, the vocal resonance is decreased in the conditions like pleural effusion or pneumothorax. Why? Because in these conditions like pleural effusion or pneumothorax, when the fluid accumulates in the pleural space, pleural space or air accumulates in the pleural space, the underlying tissue uh, is relaxed and it fails to transmit those vibrations properly. And therefore, uh, you get a reduced tactile vocal parameters on the side which is having uh, pleural effusion or pneumothorax so we had to differentiate on one side it is higher like uh, in this case right side was higher vocal resonance compared to the left that means left side is lower compared to the right so could it be left sided pleural effusion and pneumothorax because it is lower on the left side well it could be but remember there are other things to differentiate like for instance, if there is pleural effusion, normally it will uh, start from the basal region because of the gravity fluid will first accumulate on the basal region. So, which is not mentioned here uh, and therefore we can rule out pleural effusion or pneumothorax on the other side that is left side, right sided uh, lobar pneumonia where you get a higher vocal resonance compared to the other side it is increased vocal resonance because of the solidification of the lung parenchyma solids being good conducting medium for those sounds or for those vibrations and therefore this uh, was the case which uh, you had to deal with and it was solely dependent on two findings vocal resonance 
and the crepitations many more such cases are going to be discussed on our channel so it will be a good idea to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon